In this video, we're going to talk about how to do net area and total area on your TI calculator. So let's go ahead and set up our integral first, because when you're doing the AP exam, uh, particularly on the FRQs, you always must, must, must write down your integral properly. So if I'm going to be doing net area, then I don't have to worry about positive and negative, and I'm integrating 0 to 3 of x cubed minus 4x squared plus 3x dx. And you want to make sure that you include the parentheses and make sure you put that dx or they will bust you. So now let's do this on our calculator. Well, one way to do net area on your calculator is to graph it. So if we were to graph it, so x cubed minus 4x squared plus 3x, and we could go ahead and just graph this. Now, sometimes I like to make a z-box so that I can see things better, so a zoom 1, and I could build a z-box to see this better. So let's go ahead and do that. That's another nice tool. So you come down and get more of the picture that you're seeing that you were given. Now, to find area from the graph, we would go second trace to our calc menu. If look down, integral is option 7. Our lower limit is 0, so 0, enter. Our upper limit is 3, so 3, enter and it will shade under the curve and give us an answer, in this case, negative 2.25. If we want that value as a fraction, whoops, if we want that value as a fraction, we could simply hit math 1, enter, and it would give us a fraction of negative 9 fourths. So that's how we would do net area. Now let's take a look at total area. If I want to do total area, now I need to be concerned about possible negative area. So on a calculator, we can go 0 to 3, and we must insert absolute value bars for x cubed minus 4x squared plus 3x. Now, if we do that, and, and if we do that from the graph, what that's going to do is that's going to take this portion of our curve and it's going to flip it up and make it positive. So let's go ahead and do that from our grapher. So if we went into y equals, and I cleared this out, to find the absolute value bars, we hit our math button, we right arrow over, we hit option 1, that puts in our absolute value bars. We could put in x cubed minus 4x squared plus 3x and then we could go ahead and graph and notice it flips it up over the axis. Uh, now part of our, our, our picture is off the curve so I'm just going to zoom 6 and use a normal curve. If you ever want to get back to your normal you just do zoom 6. And again process would be the same. Second, trace to our calc menu, option 7. Lower limit is 0. Upper limit is 3. And it will shade under the curve. And this time it's 3.083523. Make sure that you do not round. Go ahead and put the entire value, so 3.08 Three five two three three five two three. Never round unless they tell you to round. Now, oh, I forgot my dx. Don't forget your dx there. Now, let's do both of these problems a second way. So if I go back to net area and I don't want to use the graph, uh, my other option to do this, if I get out of the screen, would be using math 9. Math 9 is known as finint. If you have a newer version of the calculator, notice the integral symbol just comes up and you're just filling in what you wrote. 0 to 3 and we want x cubed minus 4x squared plus 3x 
dx. And then if we hit enter, we get negative 2.25, same answer. If we want it as a fraction, math 1, enter, and we get negative 9 fourths. If we want to do this for total area, then again, same process, we would go math 9, and we're going to this time still go 0 to 3, but now we want to enter in our absolute value bars. So math, right arrow over 1, option 1, we have x cubed minus 4x squared plus, whoops, can't type today, plus 3x dx, and when we hit enter, it thinks a little bit more, and we get the same answer. So that's how we would do this on our graphers.